Hello, welcome along. This is the watercolour we're doing today. And um, it's just, a, you can see the mountains in the background, little uh, sort of misty effect there. Uh, water there, obviously, and a, a piece of land in the foreground as well. A couple of trees there uh, and some birds. Again, I've got the same problem because uh, as the last video, um, I'm missing, you can only see on camera, um, just over three quarters of the page here that I'm painting on. But um, I did not have much room where I was painting. Uh, and if I'd thought about it, I, I would have actually taped the actual watercolour paper more to the left-hand side. Anyway, you'll still get a really good idea about what I'm doing. So that's Tasman Blue I'm putting there. Uh, I, I did put there for the sky. So I wet the paper first with water, then I put Tasman Blue. This is a little bit of Payne's Grey going on now. And I'm just smoothing that out there. And we're gonna have to just tilt the page around a bit just to get the effect that I want. You don't have to do skies this way. Uh, this is a very fluid way of doing skies and it can be very effective, but there are other ways of doing skies. And I, I, I do skies a few different ways. All right, so I think that's just about what I'm after there. I've got a paper towel just to wipe off the excess water and paint that flows off. So while the paper is still wet, I'm putting some paint, uh, Payne's Grey there and I'll be putting a little bit of ultramarine blue in through there as well. Now I'm, I'm purposely doing this while the paper is wet because I want the um, background mountains or hills, whatever you want to call them, I want, that, I want it to blend in or diffuse as much as possible, almost to look like there's a mist. I'm just bringing the paint out into the water area just a little bit. Just a couple of streaks of, um, of land there. And I'm just putting some more Payne's Grey over the top there. And there is some ultramarine blue in there, but very thin wash. Again, I'm sorry you can't see the full page. That won't happen again. But I did two in a row, that's why there's two paintings like this in a row. I did one straight after the other. So just a few marks there where the water is going to be. There we go, so that's, that's what we're after there. smoothing those marks out. I've uh, wet the brush and then um, dried the brush out as much as possible on some paper toweling, leaving a, um, a damp brush, but you know, as dry as I can get the brush. And I'm just uh, lifting some paint off as I move it through. So just some um, yellow ochre here with this piece of land in the foreground. I 
and I'm going to put some olive green over that in places. There we go. And then um, I might even put some um, burnt umber in there as well. So you can virtually see what I'm doing anyway. It's only a little bit of the paper that's missed out. This is 100% Archer's um, watercolour paper, 100% um, cotton Archer's watercolour paper. It's uh, 300 GSM. Personally, I, I would not go anything below 300. Otherwise, you're gonna ha start having buckling and a few problems. Painting the tree here now with um, it's a combination of ultramarine blue and burnt umber. That might have looked all right just with one tree, but I've decided to put two trees in. And um, you will see this tree coming out on the left, even though my hand's in the way and some of the paper's missing. <laughs> and I'm virtually doing the same thing that I did just before. And I'm gonna bring that tree, you'll see the branches coming out. There we go. So just fixing up the um, the foreground there, putting a little bit more olive green in there. Um, put some grasses in, in there near the tree. Just darkening up the um, just the edge of the of the water line there in the background there, and just bringing some of that um, some of the the land actually going out into the water. You'll see a little bit of vegetation actually um, intruding into the water. So I'm pretty happy with the sky and, and that um, and those mountains in the background. I'm pretty happy with um, with the way the uh, the water has come up. putting some white white gouache down um, in places on those trees. I'm doing the same thing on the right hand side. I'll show you the final reveal of the whole painting. Again, I'm very sorry that a little bit of that painting is, um, is, is uh, not in view. A 
just using the corner of the back of a tube of paint just to scrape through some. You can use a palette knife if you want to. Uh, putting some grasses in as well, using a rigger brush for that. Get a bit of yellow ochre in there as well, I think. Paint some birds. That's about it. Take off the tape. And there it is. That's the um, that's the finished product. So um, just while the paper is very wet, you can put that mountain down, let it diffuse. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> let it diffuse into the into the sky. I want to keep wanting to cough. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I will be back with another watercolor very very soon. Bye for now.